What's up y'all, Jimmy here. And today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of people don't really talk a whole lot about uh, in the off-road world. I mean, they talk about it, but you don't see a whole lot of videos about it. So uh, what happens when you get stuck? You need to be pulled out, right? So uh, the Defender's got a winch on it, which is great, but for pulling other people out, we want a rope, right? So I always called them snatch straps, snatch ropes. The principle behind that was you get a big rope. A lot of times we would get like old ship ropes and not real big ones, but you know, probably an inch or bigger diameter, uh, but they were stretchy. You wanted them to have some flex. So when you had somebody stuck, you could get some momentum and instead of like a chain, right? You can't just get momentum and hit a chain real hard because you could break, you can rip stuff. With these ropes, you get that momentum and that stretch and that energy gets transferred and it actually helps you pull them out. So I wanted to get a new one. So I was looking around on the internet and I found these things called kinetic ropes. Apparently, I always called it, like I said, a snatch strap, snatch rope. A kinetic rope is different. These things actually flex way more and they're specifically designed, specifically, I don't know what I said, specifically designed for pulling people out. So UPS just notified me that my shipment arrived. We're gonna hop in the side by side and run down and get it. And I'm gonna show you what I got. So, like I said before, I ordered a kinetic rope. Technically, a snatch strap, kinetic rope. I think they're about the same thing. I think these kinetic ropes are actually designed more for this to stretch. So you could actually get that running start and let the rope do the work and not tear up your machine. So, I got the Rhino USA. You can see the 7 8 20 foot. The great thing about these is... 10,000 pound working load with a max brake strength of 30,580. So they make a 5 8 the 7 8 I just, I wanted the 7 8 because I figured maybe I needed to pull a truck or something else out. So I wanted something that was just strong enough. The, this thing was under a hundred bucks. So I think the, the 5 8 was 80 bucks. This one was a hundred. It depends on uh, the package you get. But I also wanted to try something else. I got the Rhino soft shackle. So this is a 7 16 soft shackle. It is a 14,000 pound load limit and 44,000 pound braking strength. Right there, boom. So I'm not making it up. So this thing is pretty cool. I'll show you how it works. All right, so soft shackle. You can see it's looped together. It's got this big old heavy duty knot on the end which keeps it from sliding off once you get it on, but it's tight. You gotta work it a little bit, but this thing actually comes off saw shackle. So I think what my thought process was behind this, you can use it to hook to the rope. If you've got the winch out and the rope, I don't think I'd snatch on the rope, but if I needed that extra length to get out there, right? Um, I also thought, just in case things got wild and this thing goes over on its side there's nothing to hook to really on the side of these things so i figured you could take this saw shackle and loop it around your cage and then that way you've got a point to pull on since this is rope you're not going to tear your cage off it's a lot softer than if you had the hook from the winch or 
even if you could get a rope around it, I don't know if you could get it around and hook it to anything without uh, using one of these. So it, it was cheap. It was like 20 bucks for this thing. So I was like, why not throw this in? So came in perfect time. We're going to go try this thing out. I'm going to try to find somebody that's stuck. Maybe I'll get stuck. Who knows? Um, it's always good to have some kind of good rope. So I think this will do it. All right. Let's pull this thing out of here. That's it for the box. As you can see, it comes in this awesome uh, Velcro handled carrying case. Pretty sweet. So stickers, stickers galore. I had a bargain on stickers, I guess. I'm trying to get rid of some, but there we go. You can see this thing is heavy duty. It's got this cool Velcro strap, looks like, looped together. Help keep it all together. And look at that. So I like that already. Um, they just got this as kind of like a little sheath around the end loop here. Uh, you know, you can get abrasion when you're hooking to other people, if you're hooking to another person's hook. Who knows, if you're hooking on a hitch, whatever they've got, it could have a little nick and you don't want to cut this. You lose this, then you got to tie another loop and everything. But I mean, look at that thing. That's massive. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Like I said, paired with my saw shackle. Saw shackle. It even came with its own little fancy case. All right, y'all. So I hope that helped. Um, like I said before, the strap is the last thing you think about, right? We build these things. We put all this time and effort in them. Especially as big as this thing is, when it gets stuck, it's going to get stuck, right? Um, so you always want to have a strap. It's the last thing when I'm loading up everything, I sit there and I'm running around looking for my strap. Now I don't have to look any further. It's staying in there all the time. So be sure to get a strap. Again, I don't recommend chain. I think these are way safer. You can kind of beat on them a little bit. You can really use that momentum and the weight of your vehicle to pull you out, pull whoever you're pulling out without damaging everybody's stuff. So try them out. We're going to go try this thing out.